Hello, in this uh, short video I'm gonna talk about um, Helix text editor. So if you have watched my videos, you know that I mostly use uh, NeoVim and sometimes VS Code, sometimes Sublime, but mostly NeoVim is my default text editor. Um, can I? Okay, cool. But I found actually this editor and I thought this would be fun to just walk through some of its features. So let's take a look at um, our source code for um, Zig implementation. So Helix is a text editor uh, similar to Vim and NeoVim, but based on uh, Cocoon editor, I think. Uh, what is Cocoon editor? If I open up the website, Cocoon, yes. Cocoon is a model editor but with a different approach than Vim. Also, Helix has the same approach. So what is that difference between these two? So let me show you. You see I have a fuzzy finder in here and these are all built-ins. There is no plugin support for now for this, uh, for this editor. This is just built-in. Let me go to one file. You can see that I have my normal if I don't know if I can show you Mike can I add any source to this so it will give me some um, keyboard capture no no text what this would do um, text file okay no not this one let me just remove this from here I should actually find a way to show my keys presses, but um, <laughs> I am using um, okay, okay. I am using Vim key bindings to go up and down at JKL and normal key Vim key bindings. I go W forward, forward, backwards, end of each word, um, beginning of each word. Simple. Autocomplete is working out of the box. So what's the difference? First of all, it's a zero config editor. So, I mean, I can show you my config file. Uh, there's a, actually a function for that. So you see, this is my whole configuration. I, I basically do not do anything for the LSP. I basically do nothing. I bit just a simple config file so I, it display messages in I, I don't know somewhere in the status bar let me put myself here uh, okay so this is the status bar looks like Vim um, let's back into the code get back into the code so what's the difference the difference is with the idea of edit how to edit the text so in Vim this is normal to say for example I want to delete this word right I'm inside so I say DIW delete inner word so delete the word I'm inside so we are doing three keystrokes but I need to a bit to think about it and also if we take a look at that we say D and IW so IW will select the text that I want to delete and D will just delete that in helix and cocoon the story is completely different. If I want to delete a word, I should select this. So, uh, so Helix and Cocoon, both of them are constantly selecting some place. So you see that even my cursor, if I I'm pressing D right now, if I press D, D, the only functionality of D is to delete a selection, and my cursor is just selecting that one character. If I do B, I select until the beginning of the word. If I say E, I select until the end of the current word. Okay? So. And then I can do D. So basically, it, it has the model editing, but actually it looks more similar to other text editors. So, for example, you select something with shift and arrow keys or mouse and then do the operation. So, basically how you edit is you select the object and then you select the verb or what you want to do. 
in opposite of them, any of them, that you first say what you want to do and then what area or where you want to do it. And this is actually really nice because um, it lets you um, do some nice stuff. It lets, it, it lets you most of the times have a uh, split new. I'd rather have this, close this, and actually close this. So imagine I have this hello, hello, or hello. Imagine I have this text and I want to change it all. I select everything. Oh, so I select everything. I'm in a select mode. I then do select and I say only select hello. And I now I can change. So the multi cursor or multi selection is built into the editor. There's no need to any plugin and you see that I can have these. I don't know why, <laughs> why it's not. Okay, it's cool. And I can select. So, so the base idea is that the difference is that you do uh, multiple selections. So, for example, in Vim, you should. So, if I want, for example, insert a text at the beginning of the each hello. Um, or at the end of each hello. So imagine we want to write a name at the end of the each hello. We should either do a replace or either do a macro or at least we should do um, we should probably do a macro. But in here it's simpler. I say select all hellos and then I append to them my name for example. And that's it. I did it. I don't know why I don't, don't remember oh okay I don't remember how to actually uh, remove the multiple selections but there is probably that's probably in the documentation the installation is really easy so if I go to into their github they have package for almost most of most of the important Linuxes they have a brew installation and actually it's um, recommended to do it using package manager because they have this runtime folder this is the only thing you should be careful about and this should be in a yeah, path that um, this uh, there was this environment variable in here helix runtime path should be the same at place at the, the same place um, should point to uh, where you put the runtime folder um, it is using um, Trisitter for re uh, for syntax highlighting, not regex, so it's su super fast. And also there are things you can probably do. This is at very early stages, but there are things you can probably do with the um, with queries. There are a lot of. Uh, let me get back into where I was. Okay, there are a lot of. Uh, built-in themes and this is actually and there is a good document on the local website on how to create new themes um, there are multiples of them Doc. and you can also um, so the LSB is just built in all written in Rust there is no JavaScript there is no nothing everything is native fast and the LSP is also included. So LSP is providing IDE features and Trisitter is providing syntax highlighting. And let me see what other things. So it's model we told you. It's really, really amazing. I really like it. And also the configuration is so simple. I mean, it's, um, it's really, I think, um, simpler to configure this. I mean the key bindings everything is so simple I really love this I really love this I mean when I compare this functionality that I get without any configuration and I have the simplicity I have the speed I have everything 
from Vim and Neo Vim, but I also have simplicity of configuration. I don't need to do configuring every language server myself or anything, and I have configured them a lot. Um, yes, I think that is pretty much it. I mean, I, I'm going to use this as my daily editor for um, for next. I don't know until until I either um, find a better text editor or I find a problem that I cannot solve in this but for now it is just amazing and I don't want to tool, told you how I feel about this I really like this um, yes that is pretty much it and um, my phone is just ringing <laughs> yes so that's pretty much it if you like my content please like and subscribe and follow you can uh, come contact me with using comments twitter email etc that is pretty much it and until the next video maybe i do some more of these short videos that i uh, present a tool or something i love tools and talking about tools so yes that is pretty much it until the next video goodbye